Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've talked as a group that sort of 140 is the old 120 that it's probably um, under par and you have to bowl and field extremely well and against the very good Australian side um, we probably left a few runs out there. Um, when I got out probably just building a partnership with Maddie and we left probably a little bit too much for the tail and the other day they did a really good job and got us up to 160 but we needed at least 150 I think on that wicket. Yeah, I actually couldn't see it from the big screen. I think our keeper got in the way. Um, but yeah, look, there's been a couple of, I guess, close calls with the catch in the first game and that run out. And look, that's the third umpire's job to, you know, take the evidence and see it. But I couldn't see it on the field, so I was just hoping he was going to give it out. <laughs> uh, obviously, Australia have now won the series. What are you guys going to look to get out of this third match in Canberra? Yeah, it's uh, a real shame to, I think, lose that game today. I think we've competed well. we just, um, you know, been short in a couple of areas. But, look, we've got a massive World T20 um, in, a, in a few weeks' time. And so the goal is for this group to just keep getting better. Um, you know, like, we've we've made some improvement, I think, with our batting in the, in the middle to lower order. So we, we need to keep working on that. And our bowling plans as well, just making sure against a quality Australian lineup that we can make them hit to our sweepers a bit more often. Yeah, when you've got an Australian batting order that has Elise Perry at number seven, how do you go about trying to restrict them? Yeah, we might think about asking for a trade. She could probably bat up the order in our team. No. <laughs> yeah, look, it's... It's a, the thing about their team is that you know they're going to provide opportunities because they're going to go hard and that's kind of exciting as well. In the first game we had them four down early and you take another wicket and you ride in there. So look, it's um, the nature of their team but we think as well if we can score enough runs against their bowling attack we're going to be able to put their batters under more pressure. Yeah, it's, it's been great the first two games. It just makes such a difference when there's an atmosphere out there. I think any player who's played 2020, when the crowd get into it and um, there's lots of cheering, you sort of lift for that. And it's been really good these first two games to see so many people come out and watch. And it's just exciting for the game over here and, and looking forward to the third game. And hopefully it can be a really good game of cricket again. I've seen our Bernadine come into your team fairly recently. What does she bring to your to your batting lineup? Yeah, she's been so impressive um, that first game. She really got us up to a total that kept us in the game. And look, we know she's got strengths behind the wicket, but she showed she's also got a bit of power, which we've perhaps been missing in that number six, seven spot. So it's it's really good to have her in the lineup. And now she's confident and she's shown she can do it against one of the best sides. So that's um, really good for us going into the, the World T20. And it's a bit of a, a change for you this series, not captain anymore. Does that change how you approach the games or, or how you're going about things? There's less meetings. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, no, look, it, it, it's really nice to have Amy lead the side. Look, she's got a really good cricket brain and I still want to help as much as I can out on the field. Um, but, yeah, I guess it's freed me up a little bit um, to just go out there and, and concentrate on my own game a little bit more and make sure I'm doing my job for the team and, and putting the team in a good place to win games. Yeah, um, I think a little bit lucky early on, which um, made me get my head down and, and kick on with a good start. And yeah, it's just the type of wicket that you could move around the crease and play your shot. So um, it was nice to get some out of the middle. And like I said, I was a bit disappointed at the time I got out, regardless of the score I was on. It would have been nice to kick on and just, you know, help the team get a higher score to put pressure on the Aussies.